What's up? What's up? What's up? Happy Sunday. It's Christine Horn, your life and career coach. This is Actors Daily Bread, episode 154. Yes, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Yes, I'm not watching it. But Super Bowl Sunday is special to me for a very specific reason. So I figured I'll pop on real quick before I get back to work. Had a lovely Sunday with, um, had a lovely brunch with my girl, Jessica Carter. Hey, Jessica. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just pop on and say hi and just sh do a little sharing. That's okay. Hey, Marilee. Hey, Deshaun. <laughs> hey, uh, Cynthia and uh, Nikhil. You know, I don't even try to say these names on Instagram because, you know, but I see you. And I see you on Facebook. And thank you for the love. Hey, give me some love and heart so that Facebook can be like, oh, who's who's talking? What's going on? What's the algorithm? Um, but I wanted to just pop on for all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. So listen, <laughs> thank you for the love. Hey, Gina. So listen, hey, David Allen, I see you on Instagram. Today is my two-year anniversary uh, back in Los Angeles. Two years ago today, my husband and Garland and I landed back in Los Angeles on Super Bowl Sunday. And you know, taking a leap of faith. Thank you for the love. And I had to pop on tonight just because tonight, today, today is a special day for me, not for the sports. Thank you for the love on Instagram. Not for the sport, but, and no hate on it. I mean, it is what it is, do you? Um, but I remember two years ago, we made a decision to step out on faith and to take this leap, this unknown leap. And I wanted to just pop on tonight really quick to talk to you about reverse engineering and how important that is. Um, it's okay, David. David's like, I haven't seen you in a minute. I'm here, right? So that's what I wanna talk about today. And I would be first and foremost, if you're not a part of the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook community, especially those of you on Instagram, the link is in my bio. Come on over and join us. And the reason being is there are some amazing things happening. There are some people who have, I've been working with for the past couple of years. Shout out to Marilee. Shout out to Tiffany. Shout out to Sheena. Shout out to Kristen Basma, who just took some new headshots. You know, people are doing amazing things, taking huge leaps of faith. But none of that would be possible without some reverse engineering happening. And that's what I want to talk about. And here's what I mean. And you can apply this to anything, to getting a new house, a new job, moving, a car. So this is what I mean. A lot of times we have um, goals. Well, first of all, let me pause. If this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. I know I'm so used to my OG members. In the comments on um, Instagram or Facebook, if this is your first time watching, put a one in the comment for me. If this is your second time, put a two in the comments for me. If you're an OG member, Put OG so I know where we stand, right? Let me just see some of these comments. <laughs> hey, Chris, uh, Christopher, Serena, long time. Hey, Ernest, right? Let me see some, like, where, we, where we're at here. It's got some ones, got some twos. <laughs> oh, welcome, Successful Motives. Good OG in the house. I love it. 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 <laughs> But I want to talk about, so this is Actors Daily Bread, and this is where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. I am a professional actor. I live in Hollywood. I used to live in Atlanta. I'm from New York. So that those of you who are new to me, that's what's going on. But today I want to talk about um, reverse engineering and planning. Many times in our lives, we have goals or dreams that, if we're honest, only feel like wishes and hopes because we're like, you know, we have this dream. It could be a dream of moving. It could be getting a new car. It could be um, booking a certain type of role, right? And without reverse engineering what it actually takes, it's going to always seem like this huge mountaintop that's going to be, it's so far-fetched. And before, y'all put on that natural deodorant, you know, that natural deodorant, boy. You're like, why is it wet? You're like, what? <sighs> anyway, sidebar. <laughs> Sidebar. So sometimes we have these dreams that the mountain, I'll call them the mountaintop. The mountaintop seems so far away. And I, this happened recently where I was, I'm thinking about getting this new car, right? I have a dream car in mind. And for months I've been saying, this is the car I want. It was this car, it was this Lexus, but now I want to get this certain type of car now. And for months I was like, yeah, just kind of flippant about it. And not until I took the time to be like, okay, Christine, you got some time today. How much is the car? Like, 
I don't even know how much it is. So sometimes we have dreams of either moving and we know we need to save, but we haven't decided how much we need to save, right? Or we want to buy something and haven't done the research to reverse engineer what it would actually take to make it happen. So the same thing could even be with your, with your acting career, because that's, of course, the main audience who I'm talking to right now. And so I remember talking to my friend last week, and we like started doing research on how much the car costs, where can I get it, what are the specs, what year do I want, and then it became doable. So I'm honoring today a Super Bowl Sunday because that's, it's two years ago today that we got here to L.A., but I remember at first, for a good year, it was just a fleeting mountaintop. It was this, it would be nice one day if I think I could do more work if I moved back to Hollywood. I think I'm ready now. But for a long time, I was just going to my nine to five and just working my usual hustle and, you know, you know, coaching people, life coaching a little bit here and there. And not until I was like, okay, what will it actually take? Like, how much money do I legit need to have in the bank? How much money will it take in gas to drive? Because we have a dog, so we gotta drive. How much will it take for hotels? Okay, bet, all right? Well, when I get there, I'm not gonna have a job, so what kind of cushion would I like to have? LA is expensive. So what do I need to do for that? Like, and, and when I finally broke it down, the number was large, but at least it was a, a tangible something that I can now start to chip away at and start working on. So I have some clients now who have, are prepping to move to different states. You know who you are, or who, who have recently moved. Some of you who are plotting to get your new demo reel done, but you had to reverse engineer, okay, how much is this going to cost? Clothes, costumes, hair, makeup. So I just want to encourage you. It took about a year for me to get real and to get honest in one, saying that this is what I really wanted. And then having to get the courage and the strength to position it to my husband, Garland, to leave everything he knows behind to follow me to pursue my dream. That all took time and it took planning. So I say that to you, wherever this meets you, Zipporah, Merrily, Alyssa, right? Keith, right? Wherever this meets you, I just want, there's something in your life right now that you've been saying you want, that you desire to experience, be, do, or have, but you have not truly reversed engineered what it's going to take. And I'm here to tell you that is the key. That is the key. Even with acting, I get emails and DMs all the time. Hey, Kristen, did you, I shouted you out, girl, and your new headshots. Thank you for being bold and courageous to get feedback. That's huge, right? Shout out to Tiffany, my client, who just got a new agent. Yes. The same can happen for you, right? So I want you to start thinking about what it is you actually want on this Super Bowl Sunday night, okay? Before you go to bed, okay, what is it that I've been saying I want, that I really want to experience, that I really want to do? And for some of you, it might just be like, I really want this co-star. Shout out to Melanie Victor, Mel V, and the Actors Lounge podcast, who I had a chance to be interviewed today, and we talked and talked, and I was spewing out the mouth, and it was, it was going to be a great podcast whenever it comes out. But we were talking about, she asked about getting that first co-star or getting that first whatever, and we talked basically reverse engineering it. So there's a, a role that you want, a credit that you want, that you desire, your, your next level, because only you know what your next level is. We got to know what that looks like and then reverse engineer. Keep going back and back and back. And here's a little trick I'll give you for tonight. And this is what I do with all my, all my clients when we're doing goal setting stuff. We, and, I got, and I got this from Barbara Sher, this amazing life coach. You keep backtracking. For some people, we like to draw circles. I've shown, if you've been a client of mine for a while, you've seen me do it where so i know y'all can't um, i'll show you on facebook first the big the goal is the big big circle and all the little circles are things that you can do you have to backtrack so for you instagram goal is the big circle little little circles are for the smaller goals and the trick is we keep going backwards 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 until we get to what can i do tomorrow can I do it tomorrow? So your goal may be, I want to, I want to, I'm not even going to put it into acting. I want to buy a new house. Okay. Can I do that tomorrow? Well, 
No, because I don't have the money in the bank. Okay, well, what can I do tomorrow? Well, I can figure out what kind of house I want. Okay, can I do that tomorrow? Uh, yeah, well, you know, and you just keep going back, back to what can I do tomorrow until it becomes so freaking tiny. The, the thing that you need to do might literally be call somebody or go to Google, right? So just, I just don't, I know how frustrating it can feel to look at a mountaintop. And be like, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get there. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what that looks like. But if we keep going reverse engineering about what we, what can I do today? What is one thing? You know, many of us, you know, I'm, I'm gratefully I'm not here now, but I remember it wasn't, it wasn't but two years ago where I went to a job every day and I gave eight, let's let's say ten hours of my day to someone else and came home and then if I sat on the couch and just watched TV and vegged out, how did I pay myself? What did I pour into myself? How did that help the future Christine that wanted to work in Hollywood? So I had to get real with myself. I had to start listening to personal development. Jim Rohn, Les Brown, Tony Robbins. I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, always with a book in my hand about how can I keep this mind strong, keep this mind strong to keep showing up to a job that I'm tired of going to because I see a bigger and better picture for my life. But it takes that and it takes you holding steadfast to the vision. Steadfast to whatever vision that is for you that no one else needs to understand because it's your vision. So I know I'm up here on Super Bowl Sunday because I have to celebrate the fact that I took a leap, that my husband took a leap, my dog and my turtle took a leap with me to get in my, that Hyundai Sonata <laughs> and drive cross country in three and a half days. But I also want to inst let you know, it just took time. It took time, it took faith, and it took a belief and a, 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 an understanding of self-worth that is most important. Some of you have family members, some of you are have friends who don't see your vision and don't get it and won't understand what you're willing to risk to get it. Can I get an amen on that? Can I get an amen on that? Can anybody relate or am I talking to myself? Because I'm sweating. Y'all know when I get to sweating, it's serious. <laughs> listen, if you're just joining, listen, I'm just celebrating uh, my two year anniversary back here in, L in LA. Thank you, David Allen, I see you. Thank you, Miss J's, Miss J's world, I see you. So just hold steadfast to it and just you know keep showing up for yourself. That's the best thing I can say. That's the best thing I can say. Can I brag on some people for a second? I just want to give some, I got to give some, you know, I was listening to one of my coaches the other day and we were, she, was, we were, she was talking about really being grateful for those who have been there. And, you know, I really want to take a moment to just, I think I'm going to do a whole series where I have to do some shout outs. I have had the pleasure, you know, the Hollywood Bound Actors Facebook community, the Booking Magnet Academy, my hair is all springy. I just washed it. All that was created, you know, not even two years ago. And the people I'm connecting with here on Instagram, here on Facebook, on YouTube, I didn't know y'all. We didn't connect. And the success stories that I see by people showing up, I mean, moves me beyond. I mean, beyond. Clients like Tiffany Jones, um, who even in a small apartment, kids, personal stuff, fought through it worked multiple jobs like a true Jamaican does, <laughs> and now has new headshots, has new agent. Shout out to Marilee, my girl from Baltimore, who now made a major move to Atlanta. All you Atlanta agents, all you Atlanta casting directors better watch out. Like Stephanie Green, who was, you know, a full-time therapist working in South Boston, got her TV credits. Like it started with a, a, a dream and it started with a tenacity and a focus and saying, okay, enough is enough. I'm just going to do it. So whatever your enough is enough is, I want you to just right now make a decision that something, you will do something for you. You will reverse engineer whatever that is. And if you need my help, shoot me a DM. I can guide you to something I have that will help you. But God, I just stand in gratitude for following my heart, trusting myself, and trusting my gut intuition. And each and every one of us has that. We have that voice. So that's what I just wanted to pop on here tonight and say. This wasn't any self-tape tips, though I will say 
you know, if you need some self tape audition tips, I've got a fierce five part series on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's totally free. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, help, let's help, let's help each one help one. <laughs> each one help one. Does anybody have any, anything? Thank you for the, uh, thank you, David. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I don't know. I, I don't see any questions. I see a lot of beautiful comments and I'm grateful for that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna let you guys go. I know it's Sunday, but I just, I had to pop on and just, and share that testimony and um, just send you encouragement in this new week to stay inspired, to keep doing something for yourself, keep showing up for yourself. You guys show up for your jobs every day, even when you don't feel like it. You know, I will leave you with this. I will leave you with this. I just finished listening to an awesome um, Audible book um, called The Five Second Rule. If you don't know The Five Second Rules by Mel Robbins, she's an amazing speaker, coach. You can get the actual book, but she's the Audible is great because she's a great dynamic speaker. And if you want to learn more about The Five Second Rule, just Google Mel Robbins Five Second Rule TED Talk. Okay, that's if you don't want to read, listen to a whole Audible for six hours. But the the whole premise is that you know our our, um, we make huge decisions in five seconds or less. So <laughs> she has a trick where you basically count backwards, five, four, three, two, one. So whether that's the alarm going off in the morning or you making a d big decision to pick up the phone and call someone, to start a new project, whatever it is, in five seconds, your brain is going to talk you out of it. Have you ever had an amazing idea? And you're like, this is the bomb. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, this is crazy. I don't know what I was thinking, right? <laughs> and all of a sudden you've talked yourself out of it. So <laughs> it's, it moves me, but she talks about, we're never going to feel like it. Like let's stop waiting to be motivated because it ain't going to happen. Like, there may be a day you feel like it more than others, but in general, we're not going to feel like it. We just have to do it. So the same thing like you go into your job every day, staying late when the boss needs you to stay late, sitting in traffic, like you don't have to feel like it, but you're gonna do it. You need that check, you need the coin, right? So it's the same thing. Like when it comes to our acting careers and our lives, stop waiting to feel like it. And I'm talking to myself too. But do yourself a favor. If you like Audible books, get it on Audible, The Five Second Rule. If nothing else, listen to the short TED Talk, and it may change something drastically in your life because it has affected me in many ways already. I'm going to sign off now. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Remember that you have a gift that the world needs to see. Don't cheat yourself. Don't be complacent. Be courageous in going for the gift, going for your vision, making sure your mountaintop gets reached bit by bit by bit by bit. Have an amazing night. I'm Christine Horn. Connect with me in social. Click like, love, leave me a comment, and subscribe to me on Facebook. And if you're not on Facebook, I mean, subscribe to me on YouTube. And those of you on Facebook, please subscribe to my. Um, uh, Instagram, if you're not, let's connect, let's connect, let's connect. Have a good night.